Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this video is not particularly about Corel Draw as it is for lasering, even though I did draw this thing in Corel. Most eighth inch plywood is warped. Uh, I cut out a couple of pieces this morning and had them under weight, you know, all day. I'm going to cut them out tomorrow, and this particular piece laid flat as it could be on the laser bed, so I didn't really need to do it, but I thought I'd would I had a piece earlier that was a little bit warped and you know right here I needed something and you can't really put a weight of any kind on the bed because it might interfere with the laser head and that could damage your laser so anyway I cut out this piece and these cubes so this will work for a fusion M40 M32 uh, uh, I think the Zing that has anything that has a half inch cube bed uh, vector bed will work and I also I had the laser cut out some one inch by one inch squares that way when I just set them by the rulers I could shove this piece up in the corner and I know my job is just one inch so when I, when I want to run my map I'll just set my map in these same corners and then I will always turn on my red dot red dot pointer and and uh, leave the bed open and just make sure I'm in the right position. But I was able, by doing this, I was able to get clamps on all four sides. Uh, like I said before, I didn't really need this piece. And this is something that you could cut out very easily. And just a little inside here, I made the bottom, which is going to be below the laser bed. So the vector bed is a, is a half inch thick, the walls. So all I had to do is add, I added 0.14 to this because most plywood is, you know, it's supposed to be 1.25. Most plywoods are 1.13. And if, you know, just to play it safe, I think I made them 14. And then if you have any warp, so your wood is going to go, your wood is like right here in the laser bed. That's what your wood's going to look like. This, this would be your vector bed. Anyway, so just a little insight. You can't make this bigger than 50. So I made it, I made it 0.40. So it would slip down. And I had this earlier not big enough. And you can make it a little bit bigger. You can make it, you know, three quarters of an inch. But this way, these things will not fall down in the vector bed. Uh, I know with the Fusion, you can't get them back out without... A big hassle so it just a uh, word of warning just make them a little bit bigger so this will sit on the bottom of the vector bed this is the top of the vector bed and that's your plywood and it worked real well the half inch or the one inch blocks work extremely well and allowing me to put uh, these little tabs hold downs all the way around anyway hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching